Hey, it's me again, Crimson. So, I was uh, looking through UE5, uh, UE5.1 just released like a week ago, or a few days ago, and I was like, hey, why not start a little mini project in UE5 and see how it's going? And uh, to my surprise, uh, I, I opened up a third person template and this shit's this, this is complicated. What happened? Like, so you know, I've been using UE4 for like seven years, all right? Everything was uh, relatively simple, and by simple I mean extremely complicated, figuring out everything. And now I get into UE5, and I feel like I'm back at ground zero, just trying to figure out everything. I feel so bad for people that are starting out in UE5, like they've never touched Unreal Engine before, and now they're seeing rig files and, and retargeters and 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 two different uh, skeleton rigs and then post-process rigs and animation blueprints and, and and five new spine bones i don't know why there's five spine bones i'm sure that's great for physics but why is there five spine bones i, I bet you all of my marketplace assets are now going to self-combust and explode in fact none of them i think have even converted to 5.1 yet but i think this is just an issue all around it, it, it the entire template seems almost extremely complicated. I will say some parts do look really good, but I can imagine somebody looking into this uh, would be super confused. Like, for example, what the hell is a state alias? What, I, I, I don't even know what this is. Well, uh, for those that are curious, I had to search this up. It took me about 17 minutes of Google searching to figure out what an alias is. But for those that are curious, an alias is basically just um, a cleaner way of doing transitions. Instead of you having a transition going straight into locomotion to falling, uh, instead, it's like a wireless thing. It's a wireless wire. It's a wireless wire. It makes everything a little cleaner, but it's still like I looked at this and I, 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 I stared at the screen for at least six minutes wondering what happened uh, because I feel like this just made things a little bit more complicated. Like I feel like if somebody were new to Unreal and now they're just checking all this stuff out, I feel like they're going to have a rough time just with a template. Back in the template days, we had tiny cubes with physics on them and a very simple animation system. And obviously I know that Unreal Engine 5 is the next step in next gen technology, you know, cinematic 60 FPS experiences when you're playing video games. Uh, but man, going into this, I'm even, I'm, I've been using Unreal for seven years and this feels like I'm back at level zero. It is exciting though, seeing a lot of the cool new things that they've included. The state alias is very cool. I think they're cleaning up a lot of the animation systems and there's a lot of features in here, but I think we went from an overwhelming engine to an even more overwhelming engine. Uh, and now it's just layers, um, like uh, Shrek's onion. Like it's just uh, layers on layers on layers now, where I can only imagine somebody who's new to Unreal is going to have the toughest time figuring all this out. Like, there's a new action input system, uh, which is kind of annoying, but I get it. Uh, there's a whole... You need to create files for each input mapping, which is an input action. And then on top of that, you need an input mapping context. And then you got to make sure that in your core file, where you have your third person character, you need to make sure that you add the mapping context so that it adds it to the input. <laughs> just looking at this it makes me run out of breath it's incredibly confusing and i'm sure there's probably even more to this that i don't even know uh like in the class defaults and stuff like i can only imagine somebody who's new to this is going to have such a rough time back then in ue4 you just go into project settings input and you're done you, you have the input yeah you just do this and you go in action mappings and you're done uh, but UE5, you got to do a whole process. It's so, uh, it's kind of scary a little bit. Um, even, even for me, like it, it's a lot of change and don't get me wrong. Change is good. Change is good. There's nothing wrong with change. In fact, change usually means progression and progression means that we're going forward. There's probably a big reasoning as to why action mappings are now they're on their own. It's probably to support more marketplace assets and make it easier to implement features and all this other stuff. Uh, kind of like with the new gameplay system, um, that they have in works as a new feature for uh, Unreal Engine 5. But I don't know, it just seems like enhanced input and all these other things are like, it's really good. And there's a lot of cool shit in here that, that gives a lot more control straight off the bat, but it just looks super overwhelming to me. Now, if you're wondering, this is literally just a little side project I'm gonna work on. It's like a spells game, like Naruto avatar type thing. Um, 
And I just I was curious about UE5. I didn't start like I, I tried UE5.0 when it released and I crashed it and I was like that was pretty that was pretty pog. That was pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, and then I just went back to work. Um, but I kind of wanted to check out UE5.1 and uh, it definitely feels there's a lot. There's a lot going on. I don't even what is this? A GPS? Like where am I? There's a lot here that I, I feel like might be extremely overwhelming to uh, newcomers in Unreal. I'm curious what you think uh, down in the comments. I just kind of wanted to voice my opinion because when I opened this, I was, <laughs> even me, I was I was confused and overwhelmed because there was so many files. Like, here, the, the number one thing that really threw me off is the new character system and they have a new rig system and the post process, I know what a post process is. I used that in the past, but I was surprised to see that straight off the bat. But then I saw like the control rigs and I, to be fair, I've never used the control rigs ever. Uh, they were super confusing to me looking at them. I'm an idiot, uh, clearly. Um, and I looked at this and I was like, holy shit. I, I, like, I don't even know where to start. Like it's arms and fingers and there's a, there's a retargeter and the retargeter, it's a, it's a scary world, this UE5. Uh, extremely scary world. Back then with the retargeting, you would redo it straight into the skeletal mesh. Now you have a whole IK rig and and uh, poses. Like there's the folder for poses that, that have different animation sequences of, of the arm moving around. Uh, there's nothing moving here. Um, uh, what about this one? Uh, nope. Uh, what about this one? Uh, nope. There's, there's nothing moving. What about this one? I don't know what any of these do. <laughs> I, I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. If you're starting out in UE5, if it's overwhelming for you um, and stuff like that, if maybe maybe I can make a video once I figure this stuff out. Uh, honestly, at some point, I do need to start using UE5. Right now, I'm kind of stuck in UE4 because I'm keeping suit for hire in UE4. Um, I don't want to mid early access all of a sudden upgrade the game to a different engine version, especially this one being so drastic of a difference. Uh, so most likely in my other games or my future games, I'm probably going to be using UE5. But man, I uh, I feel bad for newcomers. It's uh, I, I f it's a lot to digest and UE4 already as it was is already a lot to digest if you already look at the whole picture, the big picture of making a game. This just this just I f feel like just like I said, it's sat in layers. Anyways, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you have your, an opinion on UE5 being complicated, or maybe it's not complicated, maybe I'm just a fucking idiot, which then at that point, let me know. Love to hear your opinion. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, uh, and uh, hopefully I ha I'll have a new video coming soon for the Suit for Hire development. I'm working on a new level, and I kind of want to have the entire process from start to finish in terms of the blockout, so I'm kind of planning out a video for that, and that's obviously taking uh, a little longer than some of my other videos. But uh, yeah, hope you have a fantastic day, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.